Grab your wine and hold on to that red chair, Graham's back. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 Graham Norton moments. This is not going to work because you're trying too hard, just relax. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list we'll be looking at even more brilliant moments from the popular British chat show. If you didn't see a moment you thought should be on the list, be sure to check out our first video of Top 10 Graham Norton Show Moments. This is the collection so far. Right. Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, me Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> from the past. <laughs> and this is my favourite one, yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Number 10, Paul Rudd's basic instinct. <laughs> Paul Rudd, in the, in the Ant-Man movie, mm. uh, you went to extraordinary lengths to amuse yourself. Turns out there was a lot more sexual tension on the set of Ant-Man than we thought. While promoting Captain America's Civil War, Paul Rudd went into some background detail about his time during his solo flick as Marvel's tiniest hero. Apparently, during one of Michael Douglas's monologues, Paul Rudd thought it would be a genius idea to reenact the famous scene from Basic Instinct by pretending to expose himself. I unzipped my jeans and, you know... Unfurled. Unfurled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As it turns out, he's no Sharon Stone, and after some fumbling, he ended up getting called out by Michael Douglas as a pervert. Ouch. <laughs> and in that moment, I thought, this, this didn't play out as I had <laughs> anticipated. Number nine, pickup lines. Before the online companies of dating and all that sort of thing, you actually had to go into an office. This has got to be one of the best couch lineups that the show has ever seen. Brian Cranston, Eddie Redmayne, and Benedict Cumberpatch turned out to be comedy gold, and nowhere more so than when it was revealed that the Breaking Bad star had once worked as a director for old school dating videos. This then led the three subsequently trying to recreate them. Hi. <laughs> I'm Brian. I'm 60, and it, if you like threesomes, just remember. I like Malcolm in the Middle. As such, we're welcome to this surreal, yet oh-so-funny scenario of Heisenberg, Newt, and Doctor Strange delivering some incredibly cheesy, yet oddly effective pickup lines. Is it hot in here? If you're feeling a bit strange, the Doctor will see you now. <laughs> Number eight, Hulk Byrne. <laughs> if you thought the giant green rage monster was destructive when he went on a rampage, just wait until you hear some of Mark Ruffalo's epic disses. Along with two of his Avengers co-stars, they are joined on the couch by English comedian Josh Widdicombe, who at one point is asked about his greatest fear. I have a phobia of being chased around with poop on a stick. Now, despite undoubtedly having to face hecklers in his life, Josh, as well as everyone else, is totally unprepared for Mark Ruffalo's interjection, where he insinuates that the young Brit was probably terrified of girls over 12. Well, I was gonna go with flying, but I think I'll go with, um... Girls shit. over 12? <laughs> The Hulk is truly a savage. Well played. Number seven, Greg Davis breaks Ryan Gosling. You were very hungover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd think that having to share the spotlight with heavyweights like Jodie Foster, Russell Crowe, and Ryan Gosling, that British comedian Greg Davis would feel slightly overshadowed. Well, not after this. Retelling a time when he used to be a teacher, Greg Davis reveals a day when he came to school hungover, suffered a horrific bowel movement, and realised he was wearing his mother's underwear by mistake. Such a low point, you <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> to make matters worse, while he was having this crisis, he forgot he was hooked up to a microphone directly linked to a hearing impaired student. We're not sure what's funnier, the story itself, or Ryan Gosling's face as he fails to remain composed. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, eyebrow off. I'd like you to judge who has the best eyebrows now, as we have a little eyebrow off. Who would have thought that the mother of dragons and the enchantress would have something in common? As it happens, both Amelia Clark and Cara Delevingne are quite talented when it comes to showing off their eyebrows, which they put to the test as they proceed to move them to music in ways not many of us probably could. Granted, we're not sure it's going to help the Khaleesi take back Westeros or stop Suicide Squad from being a terrible film, but it's damn entertaining to watch. Do you want to win? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, she's the best, then. Yeah! <laughs> Number five, Jack Whitehall's illiterate toilet incident. Turns out British comedian Jack Whitehall and Academy Award-winning actress Jennifer Lawrence make quite the dynamic duo. It was probably the best moment of my life. <laughs> Maybe the worst of gems. Mine. <laughs> Their story involving Harrison Ford was a gem, 
but by far the funniest moment came from when Jack explained a rather unfortunate incident when he was in a restaurant in Spain. This story. <laughs> I knew you'd want this. <laughs> yes. Faced with a seemingly broken toilet, he tried madly to explain to a Spanish-speaking waiter his little dilemma regarding their faulty facilities. As if the language barrier wasn't bad enough, the fact that Jack had to drag the waiter to said toilet only for it to suddenly work makes the whole tale as awkward as it is hilarious, with Jennifer Lawrence barely keeping it together throughout. Like I just invited him into the toilet to say goodbye to my shit! <laughs> Number four, Chris Pratt's perfect Essex accent. Chris Pratt, is this, too, this seems so unlikely that you have now learned how to do the voices from Tally. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Britain is home to a whole slew of varying accents that foreigners might find difficult to mimic, which was what made this moment all the more outlandishly amazing when actor Chris Pratt revealed he had mastered the dialect associated with the county of Essex. As it turns out, he was exposed to the trashy show The Only Way is Essex when filming Guardians of the Galaxy in the UK, and after seeing so much of it, had actually managed to nail the accent. So it's like... <clears throat> So, like, honestly, I, like, I saw this guy. <laughs> Surprisingly, the authenticity of it was mind-blowing. Miss me? What, what am I, your mother? <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Miriam Margulies. I honestly don't think I've ever been more uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> Despite appearing prim and proper, as well as being a veteran actor, this chat show favourite certainly has a naughty streak in it. Every time she's been on the show, Miriam comes on with a story that is so out of left field and crass that much like the rest of the couch, you'll be left in shock. I saw a young man masturbating in the tree. <laughs> Whether it's lending a hand to a masturbating soldier out of a sense of duty, or recollecting about a time when she became vividly aroused by the sight of Laurence Olivier, whenever the OBE shows up, you can bet she's bringing a whole load of laughs with her. I remember so distinctly that I started to cream in my knickers. Number two, modelling. The other thing you share is quite short-lived careers in modelling. Oh, I thought you just said oh, short-lived yeah. careers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Besides winning Oscars, Jennifer Lawrence and Eddie Redmayne seem to have a lot of things in common. Coincidentally, this also includes a brief dabbling in modelling with very mixed results. While we're not quite sold on Eddie Redmayne rocking those seemingly hand-knitted sweaters and hoodies, at least they're a little more presentable than Jennifer Lawrence's, whose photos never saw the light of day due to her being a tad too boisterous. And like, at one point a girl yelled, just get her away from me. <laughs> <laughs> ah well, a loss for the modeling industry is Graham Norton's gain. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I could run like the wind blows. From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running good. And he started singing, and I did not mean to, but very, uh, it was deep and guttural. I was like, you shut up! <laughs> you shut up, Chris! <laughs> I talk to my dad, and he'll call and be like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm great. He's like, I miss you. And I'm like, I miss you too. How's mommy? He's like, mommy's great. But apparently, to most people, it sounds like, <laughs> Number one, young Ryan Gosling's dance moves. We're going to focus on the early dancing career of Mr. Ryan Gosling. Oh. Oh, well. uh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Everyone has to start somewhere. While promoting La La Land, Ryan Gosling gets something of an unwanted trip down memory lane as Graham reveals that they have clips of him as a child at a dance competition. I wish I could say He's... someone said, here, you have to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my idea. The video itself is adorable to watch as a young Gosling shows off his moves. But what's even funnier is when he reveals that behind the scenes, the whole thing had a much darker side with the other dancers flipping him the bird before his performance even started. Kids can be so cruel. The two twins are standing there like the <laughs> twins from The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just going like this. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.